Hello, welcome back. We are solving another puzzle today. We are challenging ourselves to the level six Trinity puzzle. Now that is a level six out of a possible six, which means when it comes to the Hanayama puzzles, it does not get much tougher than this. Now, if you just look at the previous level six puzzles that we've solved, if you didn't know, these are ranked in order. This is the easiest one, and we go up in difficulty to the hardest one here. Now the top four places currently are taken by level six puzzles and the only other two level six puzzles we've got are the nutcase puzzle here which again top three six nine top ten uh but there is one anomaly with the level sixes and that is the news puzzle which comes in right down here in my opinion anyway this is all subject to what i think in comparison to each other so in short the trinity should be a very very tough one and right now it's time to find out just how tough the trinity puzzle is so here it is the trinity puzzle as the name suggests made up of three different parts and i'm guessing they're all different each piece is different here we've got hanayama here we've got Trinity and I'm guessing this one other one is blank which means it's going to be fairly easy to distinguish between each one which is good news and yeah they are all different shapes and sizes different grooves different things oh, that's a very very slight gap in there so before we start let's have a quick read of the box it usually gives you a bit of a, a clue of some sort a puzzle that interlocks each piece with the two other pieces via an elusive organic design. There are numerous possible combinations other than the ones shown here. That's interesting. Now does that mean possible combinations to di disassemble it or possible combinations in this sort of fully formed position? We'll, we'll find that out as we go along. Giving you plenty of room to enjoy some puzzling experimentation. Ah, so. Uh, Nothing really in the way of a clue, but as with most level sixes, it is usually, and is almost definitely going to be for this one as well, it's like a, a routine or a, a, a few different stages to getting it apart. Similar to the vortex, that was sort of three, well that is three pieces, each had different grooves and you sort of have to go through the process of this way, then this bit, then this bit, and then this bit, and then you can get them apart. Now in terms of getting them apart, the final sort of piece, I'm guessing they, let's say this, my hand is a piece, I'm guessing they sort of come over each other here with how small those gaps are, and the fact that there's, there's no gaps that big anywhere else on the puzzle, so I'm guessing they have to be end on end for them to separate finally. Wiggle them around, ooh, that fits very well, it's very close to fitting through there, which is good. Uh, what I was saying is let's try and get sort of these separated first, or and just play around with it, sort of get to know it, as strange as that sounds, but get to know how it moves, what fits where, and, and see where we go from there. I can't really think of many ways to describe this, because I've not really got much to go on in terms of right, let's try this or let's try that. It's it's really a case of okay, let's see what fits where, if that makes sense. I mean these are with the Hanyam is always very, very precisely built. Like something will be a millimeter a away from separating in one position, but separate perfectly in a very similar position. So at the minute I'm just trying to figure out just one of those positions at least. I'll try and figure out right what fits where and then see if we can sort of set a path to get to that point. See that fits through there very nicely. See this one's sort of, like if you look down on this one, the, the thinnest piece is sort of here, like going down. But then if you look at, and that's the same for this one here, but if you look at this one that's hiding under here, that one is actually sideways, the thin bit is actually sideways. I'm going to try to see if we can get into this same position but with the two bits that are like this, these two pieces. 
Experience tells me that that move there is too perfectly fitting to not be right. But the question is, is there a move that's required before that move or are we on the right track? But we can't then get it sideways on so that it can, it can come over the top of this piece here. Because this bit, the Hanayama bit, is getting in the way. Okay, so let's systematically go around it. Or let's go around it with a little bit more intent. So the, the position that I like that I keep getting to is using the non-labeled piece, the blank bit. We sort of get these two pieces past this hump, if you like, here. So instead of coming around to the edge of this piece, we're gonna, I've already tried going to the other side of it. Around this way, and we don't seem to have had any luck there. So we'll change to the Hanayama piece. And see if we can make any progress going this way around. So we're about 30 minutes in now, and as much as we haven't made any progress, and I could very easily go back to where we started, I'm, I'm starting to get a feel for how the puzzle moves around each other, for how it how it will solve, and uh, just how it moves in general. Ah, see, that's interesting. So we've got it through there, and it was almost just in the time position and that fit the entire way through oh wow so we were on this side wow that's interesting so that fits the entire way through but it looks exactly the same right i know that the trinity bit goes yeah that's definitely step one as well so the Trinity bit goes the, does go the entire way through, however it doesn't go all the way through from the position that I would have been trying to get it through from. What, where is the position that it goes through? It's pretty much the starting position. See, it sits down and then goes through there. Okay, so is this now a, a case of one bit goes through, then another bit goes through. So the trinity went through the blank bit. That's what we know. And now, wait, that's not going backwards. Is that going backwards? That is the blank bit going through the trinity bit. Oh, maybe not all the way through. Can it go all the way through? Looks like it should. That looks too perfect. Or not too perfect, but too close. Now, is there another something through something? And we know that the Trinity, the blank almost went back through the Trinity. Can any of the others go through any of the others? The hand, this gap here seems too small for anything to go through. So the honey arm a bit doesn't, the gap doesn't seem big enough for that. Now with these two I just need to make sure I don't go backwards. It doesn't seem to be any more untangled or, to be honest, from just looking at it, it doesn't seem to be in a different position here than it did at the start. And the only bit that almost gets through is the blank bit going through the trinity bit. There. It's the only bit that almost gets through. Now I am convinced that it is a sequence of passing through each other that eventually untangles this. I'm fairly sure that one passing through isn't going to be enough, or isn't enough. So we've not been down here before, which is interesting. I don't really want to come back through with that bit, but at the same time I, I can't get that bit off this too tight for that bit to go through because this bit's in the way, the Hanayama bit. But, it's nice to be in a different position for a change. So now thinking back to what the box said, that also makes sense as well because we were sort of in, like this is essentially another combination like it said of the original piece, or of the original uh, sequence setup but it's not the original one because the original one was here or with that through there. 
It's taken me a while to figure that out. Hmm. That's the position we've not been in before. Ah, see, now. Oh, that's brilliant. Because that's, that then allows us to turn sideways on. Ah, oh, can we now go over that bit? So this bit's sort of out of the way because this bit has been down here the whole time. But now it's come up here, it's allowed us. Look how close that is. That's surely got to come over there. But surely, surely this is going to be the position that that comes over there. Look how close that is. Yeah, of course, that can't, that can't come over there yet because that bit's in the way. If I force that onto there, I feel like I can get it off. But I also feel like I shouldn't be forcing it. I hope I've got it slightly wrong there, or the position slightly wrong, because that's that was quite a lot of force to do that. To get it back on is even tougher. Right, anyway, I feel like pretty much there now. Those two bits should now slide across. And the final two bits. And it's hard to see in there. Tell you what, those are they are oh, that is incredibly tight. Jesus. Trinity and the honey arm a bit. Oh! There we go, the Trinity puzzle solved. Oh, that was tough. Not a big fan of the force that's required towards the end of it, but that's a tough one. That is a very, very tough one. So now to find out if I can reverse all of that and see if we can remember just how these three parts pieces came apart which I'm fairly confident I've got most of them, but I, well, we shall see whether that is true or not. So that's already become much easier to glide past now actually. So maybe it's just like needs one, yeah, that's way easier. Well, those two aren't. That's interesting. So maybe those two bits aren't supposed to come across each other at any point. Because the other bits actually go for five. Hmm, that's interesting. Right, let's put it back together first. And that is the final pass through. And that whew, is the Trinity puzzle reassembled in about five or six minutes. So yeah, I'm fairly confident. I remembered most of the moves and just sort of, yeah, which made it much easier. Much, much easier than taking it apart. So there we go. Trinity puzzle done. So there we go, we managed to solve the Trinity puzzle. I think I'd have to look back at the videos, but I think it was about an hour and 20 minutes in total to take it apart and then five or six minutes to put it back together. Again, because of the sort of the tactic of taking your time, understanding the puzzle, it takes longer to solve it. I'm by no means quick at solving puzzles first time, but I tend to do it in a way where I understand how it works and memorize the steps which makes it much much easier to put it back together and that has essentially been learned the hard way if you don't either remember or understand how the puzzle solves you almost double your workload when you're trying to put it back together because you're sort of trying to do it twice whereas if you understand it the first time putting it back together makes it much much easier to do 
Now it certainly does live up to its level 6 rating. However, the, the one thing I'm not a big fan of, and these possibly, it possibly loosened up as the puzzle went on or as I did it a couple of times, but the one thing I wasn't a fan of was the amount of force needed to sort of get that first bit over the top. That, that's probably what took me ages to, I was in that position for about 20 minutes without, before I actually finally realized that, oh, I can actually force this over the edge. So that's the one thing I'm not a big fan of with this one. However, as always, the level sixes, there is a process, there is a step-by-step, -step, go here, go here, go here, before it comes open, which I like. I prefer that to the more, sort of get it in one position and everything falls apart, sort of level three, level four type puzzles. But the all important question, where does the Trinity rank on our scale? Easiest up to the hardest hourglass level six done so far. Now, for the Trinity, we are going to start at the top and work our way down to find its place in the lineup. First question, is it harder than the Hourglass puzzle? Absolutely not. The Hourglass is still the king. Is it harder than the Vortex puzzle? Very similar in that there is three pieces and there is a routine to getting them out. Now, here's the issue with this now is that I've, when I was solving the Vortex, I'd maybe solved four or five puzzles before then. So I hadn't experienced a similar sort of routine to get it apart, which is why the Vortex is ranked so high. However, if I would have done the Vortex before uh, the Trinity, when I did the Vortex, maybe the Vortex doesn't keep its second place or doesn't end up in second place like it is now. And that is one of the issues I'm having when ranking these puzzles now. Because I think that the Trinity is nowhere near as hard as the Vortex, but it is very, very similar. I think there's more moves to be done on the Vortex, and I think putting the Vortex back together is more tricky because of its sort of solid sh sort of end result shape and sort of the chaos that ensues just before you get to that point. But either way, the Trinity is not going to go above the Vortex. The next one is the Quartet. Again, similar in that there is, well, the, for the Quartet, as, you, as the name describes, there is four bits to it, as opposed to the Trinity, which describes three pieces. The Quartet, there's more bits, and because they're not all identical pieces on the Quartet, but they're very similar. I think that solving that for the first time is harder than the Trinity. So the Trinity is not going to break into the top three. The next one is the Enigma. So we did the Enigma not too long ago. However, I think the variety of movement in the Enigma, again, similar puzzle, three pieces. There's a routine to get to get to it. I think the Enigma took longer. I think that might have been 90 minutes in total when we did that one, when we took it apart first time. Plus the variety of movements. I, I like the Enigma more. The Enigma is one of my favorite ones. So, uh, but the Trinity is not quite as hard as the Enigma. However, I have a feeling it's gonna be the next one. Or it's gonna beat the next one, which is the level five Equa puzzle. Now the Equa puzzle is very different because it's a very sneaky solve. The question is, is the sneaky solve of the Equa harder than the finding the sort of the forced solution, the forced method for solving the Trinity puzzle? I'm not too sure about this one. It's definitely harder than the cylinder, so it's just a case of whether it ends up fifth or sixth. Hmm. Is the Trinity harder than the Equa? It all depends on how quickly or how, yeah, essentially quickly and easily you spot the slight difference in one part of the Equa puzzle. The Equa is going to go above the Trinity. The Trinity is going to sit in sixth place and the Equa is going to keep its fifth place ranking.
So there it is. Now, if you agree with my assessment of the Trinity puzzle and where it will should go on my ranking scale, if you agree or disagree, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more puzzles solved like this and the step-by-step -step solutions to all of these Hanayama puzzles, then click my face here to subscribe and you can watch some of those videos by clicking just over there. Thank you very much for being here and I will see you next time. Peace!